what is going on you guys welcome back to a, another video and to the channel so for this video i am pretty excited because i'm going to be tuning the f30 behind me here back to the stage 2 e30 map from boot mode that it was initially on for those of you who may not be aware i had to return the f30 back to stock because i needed to get a smog um, so that I can renew my registration. And with me living in California, um, with probably the most strictest emissions laws in the country next to New York, I had to return the car back to stock. So I had to put the stock catalytic converter back on and remove the intake and remove the tune and all that stuff so that I could pass. And I did indeed pass. And so now obviously I want to go back to being tuned and you know being somewhat fast and having more fun with the car since the car has been in the stock tune over the last couple weeks i honestly haven't even been driving it for the last couple weeks i've been driving the e90 back there uh the car just isn't really fun to drive anymore it's not as fun since i got so used to the power output of the stage 2 e30 map uh, from boot mode and my high flow catted downpipe now i had already decided that i was going to go back to being tuned obviously from the get-go but the reason i didn't do it initially right after i did the smog since i could have is because i wanted to go a different route this time as i mentioned i had a high flow cat on the car from cts turbo uh, but this time I wanted to go with a catless downpipe since I have yet to experience uh, what that's like because there is a bit of a difference there in regards to exhaust sound, exhaust smell, and power output since catless does not have anything at all. It's just a straight shot back out of the muffler. With the high flow cat, there's still a small cat in there, so there is still a bit of restriction. But uh, with catless, it's just free flow, so zero restriction. So there should be minimal gains i don't know if it's going to be anything you know noticeable but that is what i want to see uh, in this video when i take it for a drive after i install the catless downpipe and i initially didn't go with a catless downpipe because of the exhaust smell um, I'm, from what i'm hearing it is very strong and very annoying um, and on top of that i liked how the high flow cat sounded better than the catless but i mean it wasn't really that big of a difference i just thought it sounded a little better but it pretty much just sounds the same i'm assuming a bit louder also so yeah that is what i'm gonna be finding out in this video and i'm gonna show you guys um what i experience um with it being on my f30 335i now this video is not going to be a detailed step-by-step -step guide on how to install a downpipe i have already made a video um from when i initially installed the high flow cat down pipe so if you want like a step-by-step -step guide and all the information in the world on down pipes i will leave that video linked down in the description of this video so you guys can check that out um so yeah this video i'm not going to really go into as much detail i'll probably go into a bit more than i did when i installed the stock catalytic converter but it won't be you know extremely detailed because like i said i've already made a video on that so yeah i believe that is all of the context i wanted to give you guys uh for this video so let's get into the meat of this video. Let's take a look at this CTS Turbo Catalyst Downpipe. So here is my CTS Turbo Catalyst Downpipe in here. Just around here. It looks very clean and taking a look inside, you can see there is no cat. It is just a straight shot. So I decided to go with CTS Turbo once again for their Catalyst downpipe um, because as for those of you who may not know all of my bolt-on mods are from CTS Turbo and I haven't had any issues with them. The fitment was perfect, uh, quality was perfect and yeah I just figured why not since they all of the products I have from them so far are great. Might as well get the Catalyst downpipe and honestly I feel like not a lot of people use their products as much as you know like VRSF or other companies that make downpipes. I have heard some negative things about CTS Turbo in terms of like their customer service but honestly I haven't had any issues so that's just my view on their products. I haven't had any, any issues with them so feel free to check out their products and I am in no way sponsored by them so yeah this is just my honest opinion on the products so yeah this is what's going in the F30 and it's pretty dirty pretty sure you can see that on camera definitely needs a wash and I'll definitely wash it after I install everything so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and remove the stock catalytic converter and install the 
Atlas downpipe. And then I'm gonna go ahead and probably put the intake back on. And then I will go ahead and flash the car back to the stage two E30 map from boot mode. So let's go ahead and get started on this. So I got the O2 sensors in and it's pretty much ready to be put back on the car. Now before I put it back on the car, I just want to point something out here. So you'll notice this clamp right here, this is the bottom clamp. It's recommended that you buy a new one um, since they can kind of get pretty rusted on the little teeth there that uh, when you grab it onto the bottom of the downpipe. Now you don't have to buy a new one, I, I just recommend it since it's always better to have a brand new part. So that is what I did. I got a brand new bottom clamp here. Basically goes on like this and then you tighten this. Uh, so yeah, if you want to get a brand new bottom clamp here, I will leave this one linked in the description. I got it from FCP Euro and I'll leave the part number down there also just in case you can't find it or you're having trouble finding it. Now this one only fits the uh, downpipe for the electronic wastegate. I'm assuming the pneumatic wastegate may have a different size. I'm not 100% sure. But this one is for sure for electronic wastegate, the 4 inch downpipe, which is what I have here. So yeah, I just wanted to point that out. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and reinstall the Catalyst downpipe. So the Catalyst downpipe is now completely installed on the car. Along with that, I went ahead and just reinstalled the CTS Turbo intake. If you guys want a full DIY on how to install this intake with, you know, step-by-step -step guide and all the details and stuff, I did a video on it when I first initially installed it. So if you guys want to check out that video, I will also leave a link down in the description of this video along with the DIY on how to install a downpipe. So now that the Catalyst downpipe along with the intake are back on the car, I'm going to go ahead and flash the car back to the Stage 2 E30 map from boot mode. So let's head inside the car here. So I have logged into my boot mode account here. 
and I've connected the laptop to my car through the OBD2 port down there. So now let's head over to menu, my maps, and go ahead and flash the stage two E30 map. And I actually still have E30 in my tank. Um, I never actually ran out of gas even when I flashed it back to stock. So I still have a 30% ethanol in the tank, so I should be good. Um, although it probably isn't the best quality since it is a few weeks old, but I can always refill. And before I actually flash the map, I want to show you guys my exhaust settings over here in config. So for those of you who may not know, you can adjust like the burbles for the exhaust. And these are my settings here. Um, the duration in sport mode, I have it at the max setting. In, the, in sport mode, I have the like max setting possible. So the longest duration possible in sport mode, which is five, and then the aggression in sport mode over here is also to the max at 12 over here. And then in just like regular comfort mode, I have it at one and four. That way, like, you know, if I want it to be really loud, I can just switch to sport mode, and if I want it to be quieter, I can just, you know, switch it to comfort mode and just kind of cruise. So yeah, uh, these are pretty cool. You can adjust some of these settings, like, um, and you know when they happen throughout the RPM band if you guys want to get really dialed in here. In addition I also activated the GTS startup roar that is on so that way whenever I start the car it starts up pretty loud. Um, so yeah those are my exhaust settings uh, for those of you who may be interested. So now let's go ahead and flash flash and we're ready to go. Alright so the car is officially flashed back to the stage 2 E30 map and I am super excited to now hear how this car sounds with the catalyst downpipe. So yeah, let me set up uh, the camera on the tripod outside and then I'll go ahead and start the car for you guys so we can hear how it sounds. Alright you guys, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but this thing sounds awesome. It is definitely louder than what it sounded like um, with just the high flow cat. It is just overall louder, even inside the car, like I can tell. I'm, I hope the drone didn't uh, increase too much. But as of right now, from what I can tell, just from starting it and revving it, it is pretty loud. And the burbles are definitely more pronounced and loud, and there's a lot more of them more frequently. I can't wait to hear how they sound like when the car is warmed up and I'm out, you know, driving. It just seems like this car is going to be a bit more fun than the high flow cat so yeah I'm super excited to get this thing on the road and see how it drives and you know feels and sounds now as for the exhaust smell as of right now I can tell it is definitely stronger which was expected now it is not overwhelmingly strong and bad so far I mean there is kind of a breeze right now so it's kind of you know coming and going but it, it is definitely stronger in general I have a feeling if there was no breeze it would definitely be worse um, but uh, I have to see as I you know continue driving it for the next few weeks. 
So yeah, those are my initial thoughts so far after just starting it and doing some revs. But I am going to take it for a drive with you guys. That way you guys get an idea of how it sounds and how it performs. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get everything cleaned up and then we'll take this thing out for a drive. to me sounded more raspy but so far it's not really sounding raspy uh, it might be because I still have my stock muffler on and uh, now that I think about it that's probably why it's not so raspy which is a good thing because I honestly don't like rasp but yeah this thing sounds really aggressive and a lot louder definitely putting a smile on my face have some more bass like that's that's how I can describe it here it's just like when the burbles go off there's just like like this bass that's like pounding your eardrum This thing feels and sounds amazing. And honestly, I haven't even noticed any exhaust smell so far. I mean, I've been driving and I'm, you know, sitting still, but I am so hyped right now. This, this car feels amazing.
you guys I've been driving the car around for the last few days and I have to say this car sounds absolutely awesome it is perfect at least for me I think it is perfect for what I'm looking for in an exhaust setup now comparing it to the high flow catted downpipe when I had that it is a little bit louder and I think it sounds a bit more aggressive overall it just sounds better than when I had the high flow catted downpipe. I tried my best to capture how it sounds with the video clips that I showed you guys. I honestly think it sounds even better in person. Like it sounds really good in the videos, but I think it sounds even better if you were to hear it in person. So essentially now my exhaust setup is the Catless downpipe with a resonator delete. A key point I want to make is that I still have my stock muffler on the car and I feel like that is playing the biggest role in keeping the drone to a minimum. If I were to delete the muffler, this thing would be absolutely insane. It would just be obnoxiously loud and annoying, I feel like. So the muffler plays a big role in keeping it more reserved and giving it a nice aggressive exhaust tone that is not too loud. So yeah guys, I am 100% satisfied with how this turned out. I am so glad I tried out this Catalyst downpipe after having the high flow catted downpipe. Hopefully you guys get an idea of the differences in exhaust tone between the two. I'll probably make another video where I show clips of how the car sounded when it had the high flow catted downpipe and then um, with the Catalyst downpipe. That way you guys get a clear, you know, difference. Now overall, the difference isn't that significant. Uh, it's more on the smaller side, but it definitely is noticeable, at least for me. Like I said, the Catalyst downpipe is a bit louder and overall the exhaust just sounds more aggressive. So as usual, let me know what you guys think of how the car sounds based off the exhaust clips I showed you guys. Hopefully you guys like it too. And as usual, I'll leave a link to the Catalyst downpipe that I installed in this video from CTS Turbo if you guys possibly want to check out their products or this downpipe. So yeah guys, I think that is going to do it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and found some enjoyment or value in it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this if you liked what you saw. Also feel free to check out my website at inline6auto.com for aftermarket carbon fiber accessories for your F30 3 Series or E93 Series. I'll also have a link to that in the description of this video. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.